Hello everyone, I'm Coralfish and it has certainly been a really long time since I've made a vlog. So I figured I would start this vlog outright with a little public filming, which is always kind of embarrassing, but a lot more fun than just sitting in my house and filming for you guys. I am in Seattle, Washington right now, which you probably know if you have kept up to date on Twitter and Facebook and of course CoralReaper420.com. I'm in Seattle for HempFest. I think it's their 26th or their 21st year. It's something really big right after an anniversary. And I'm really excited to be back up here for HempFest specifically because of this event. This event is the largest protestival, protest festival, hemp activity center. It's the largest in the country and possibly the world. It's not for profit to my knowledge. It's a donation event. You can walk in, pay $10, pay 20, pay zero if you're an asshole. And it's pretty much just a good time for people to get together, hear a lot of speakers from our community from all over the world, a bunch of different countries, different states get together. And it's also a really good time to kind of stop selling as much shit and just enjoy the culture. There are so many booths at HempFest, so many stages. It's just a better time to hang out and talk to all of the people in the community. And it's not necessarily like the Cannabis Cup or HempCon or these other really, really sales-oriented events. I really get a feeling from HempFest that it's just about the community, the music, the speakers, and just having a good time. So I'm super happy to be back here. Really looking forward to seeing as many of you as possible. I have been updating as much as possible that I am here. I am selling Stony Sunday shirts. I am giving away goodie packs to everyone that I can. And yeah, filming, taking pictures, doing that whole thing. I am just walking down University right now. We're getting closer to the waterfront. And I have to say, I love Seattle. I love this state. It is so green, so beautiful. I'm like this close to just moving the fuck up here because it's amazing. Okay, time for HempFest. We're waiting in line for more than enough time, definitely, to get into HempFest. And also a really quick bag check to make sure no one was bringing in like weapons or glass or something crazy. I have made it inside the festival. Ooh, ah. And there are a lot of people here. It's not quite as nice as it was last year in just the beautiful sunshine. But it is a clear day up here in Seattle. And we are headed over towards Sealy stage right now. Try and hit them up for 420. And see the crowd over there and get smoking. Yeah. All right, all right. How y'all feeling out there? You enjoy it? Yeah. And the people over here, don't be shy, come join the crowd. I see you, I see you. I think Clint Werner is speaking soon. I think, fingers are crossed. I love the pop. You guys know him as the author of Marijuana. This next one is out. called Spit Shot. And I'm gonna say, I give the microphone a spit shot. And I need you to say, Step back. Look here. So we're gonna practice it one time. I give the microphone a spit shot. Step back. Easy. Easy. Oh, y'all wanna give a shot? Simple. I give the microphone a spit shot. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. I'm so happy to be here at HipFest. It's really one of the most amazing things I've ever experienced. I can't believe this incredible stretch of people getting high and celebrating, talking story, hanging out, loving each other, and making life great. And that's what we need to do. We need to all pull together and understand that we can be a part of something really profound and significant. And that is the reclamation of our birthright to use cannabis, Woo! not just for pleasure, but also for our health. And it doesn't just work to treat the symptoms of disease and the symptoms of treatment of disease. What we found out is that using cannabis, using marijuana is actually health positive behavior. Woo! Every time you ingest cannabis, you're introducing THC and possibly other kinds of uh, cannabinoids into your body. And what these cannabinoids do is that they mimic 
chemicals your own body makes, and those chemicals have the job of maintaining your health, of preventing environments that lead to disease, and interrupting disease processes, and then repairing the damage that's come from the disease processes. And we need to let as many people as we can know that this is what marijuana cannabis does. It helps us. It protects our health. It is a gateway to health. It is not a gateway to misery or degeneration or any kind of nonsense like that. Did you know that when you use marijuana, you have up to a 37% reduction in your likelihood of getting lung cancer compared to non-smokers? Less cancer than non-smokers. 63% reduction in your likelihood of getting head and neck cancer. Dr. Gary Wink from the University of Ohio says that one puff of marijuana a day is enough to offer significant protection from the ravages of Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. If we all learn this data and we can spew it out to people who don't know it, we're going to win this war. We have to get those talking points, learn them, and tell everyone we can, every chance we can, that marijuana, cannabis, improves health. It is an ally of humanity and that it is criminal to be wrecking people's lives, to arrest people, to throw them into gulags and rape dungeons and ruin their whole lives because they use a healing protective herb. The California Medical Association said that they endorse full legalization because they looked at the medical harms that come from using cannabis which are insignificant because the benefits are so profound versus the harm that comes if someone is arrested and even worse, imprisoned for using it. And you've got to get mad as hell about this because there are people, as we're here having fun, suffering, who are mm -hmm. people just like us and they're locked up and they're tortured and they're abused and they're used as slave labor to produce cheap goods for corporations. And it's got to end. And we all have to pull together and tell everybody that using cannabis benefits our health because cannabinoids in marijuana match up and supplement the cannabinoids we make in our own bodies that interrupt disease processes. So please, everybody, tell as many people, tell your doctors, they don't know this, it's not being taught in medical school. If you kill the bias, if you kill the stigma, we're gonna win. So get mad as hell and take the Jack Herrera pledge to work every day of your life for legalization until you turn 85 or die. And God knows we got to get there before I turn 85. I'm tired of this. I got other stuff I want to do with my life. Let's get it over with. Woo! Come on, give it up for Clint. I'm yeah. telling you, I mean, that is the stuff I love to hear up here. Someone always ends up with a butter knife. Quit scraping me, fucker. <laughs> Who smokes crack on the golf course? That doesn't help your swing. You give me a... <laughs> right? Weed 
Kicking golf makes sense. Cracking golf don't make sense. You need the right drugs for the right activities is my point. Don't do crank and try to go to a chess tournament. <laughs> Here, and it is almost 420. Hey, you guys. Master Yoda strain maker right here. We got Danny Danko right here. We got Ngayo. What's up? And then we got the crowd. Almost 420. Yeah. Super excited to be here. I just had to update you guys. I will be back real soon. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are coming up on that magic moment. 420 is almost upon us. But before we do, I would like to thank Seattle. For hosting this, I come from New York City. I'm from High Times. He's from Washington. Seattle is the center of the marijuana universe. the center of the universe is. Now I'm here to tell you as a Canadian that what's happening here in the United States is going around the world. This yep. isn't just for Seattle. This is for people around the world. If you're here today, you're so lucky to be free. Many people behind me and many people up there have done their time. And my husband Mark Emery is called the Prince of Pot. CNN called him that. Rolling Stone, National Geographic, around the world. My husband sold seeds to finance the movement. Millions of seeds sold to Americans and people worldwide, and all the money, millions of dollars, went right back to the movement. The DEA admitted it was political. They stole them from Canada, brought them down here. I'm carrying on the fight, and so are so many other people. Woo! People out here are doing everything they can to end this drug war. Yeah. You owe it to them. You owe it to yourselves. Plant the seeds of freedom. Overgrow the government. That was Mark's slogan. And we're here to send a smoke signal all the way to Washington, D.C. All around the world. Legalize it. Yes, on I-502. Legalize It's for herb, for green, 
not for the concentrates, but I am probably I'm gonna be using it for my commute when I'm going to and from work. Okay, so we got local area code up here. Let's call him up and let him know that he is a winner. And it's the blue one too. They come in all sorts of colors. I wonder what color that is. Thank you. 